and there are autonomous vehicles being used today in the oil field for inspection and soon they'll be used for repair and maintenance. In the business plans of companies sitting in this room, um, you know, within the next five years we'll have autonomous platforms, vehicles that are doing manipulation uh, in the ocean. And, and I'd like to say a few words about disruption, if I may, sure. about how disruption happens. One of the questions we were asked was about you know, where do we see the next areas for growth in the offshore maritime segment? You know, we've talked a lot about wind, we've talked a lot about oil and gas. There are other segments here we haven't said so much about to do with the environment, to do with security, and indeed to do with things like carbon capture and storage. And what you'll see is those are niche markets compared to the large sort of giants of the oil and gas business. But those are places where in those relatively niche markets, new technologies are being developed. And that's where the disruption starts. It's a classic model that we've seen in the computer industry and in many other uh, applications. And what we're seeing is technology, for example, coming from uh, the security world of mine warfare and autonomous vehicles. That's now mapping directly across into uh, oil and gas. And people are starting to think about the oil what the oil field is a smart space where it's not just about the robots, it's about the people. Obviously, you have, you know, autonomy is all about the operator at the end of the day. You know, that you're right, somebody has to make a decision whether it's working well or not. Um, and that's linked to data. It's linked to the data about what's happening in the oil field and remote operations. So it's a whole new space that we're working in.